Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah De Brick. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the qualifying race were held for a distance of 80 kilometers and 100 kilometers for the season 2020-2021, which was held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser made a statement to mark the occasion in which he affirmed that the qualifying tournament is taking place amid strong competition among the participants who have performed well. He expressed happiness for the participation of young horsemen which he said affirms that Bahrain is able to produce young talent and added that this is the fruit of a long process of planning to include the youth into endurance sports. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah affirmed that the wide-ranging participation means that the coming season will be highly competitive, especially following their strong performance recently. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his ongoing support and praised the efforts of the organizing committees as well as those in charge of implementing health precautionary measures. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, today held a phone call with the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, Dr. Anwar Mohammed Gergesh. They discussed solid fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the sisterly United Arab Emirates, which constitute a model for brotherly relations based on mutual respect and appreciation. They stressed the great interests accorded to those relations by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and common keenness to extend bridges of communication between the two brotherly countries in various fields. They reviewed common stances of both the countries regarding various regional and international issues and ways to enhance joint coordination between the two brotherly countries at all levels. They also discussed a number of issues of common concern. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the interest, the interest that the World Bank Group attached to combating the coronavirus COVID-19 and the bank's rapid response by allocating the necessary support to countries in the effort of limiting the spread of the virus. The minister noted the importance of international cooperation to address the repercussions of this virus and mitigate its effects on or at various levels. This came in the statement delivered by the Minister of Finance and National Economy before the Development Committee on behalf of the country countries of the Arab group and the Maldives, which is represented by the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Salman pointed to the importance of international cooperation to address the repercussions of this virus and reduce the digital gap in order to achieve the sustainable development goals and the goals of the World Bank Group to end poverty, enhance shared prosperity and ensure the speedy deployment of the COVID-19 vaccines, especially for low-income countries or regions with fragile and conflict-affected situations. In this regard, the Minister emphasized the greater role that the International Finance Cooperation, the IFC, and the International Investment Guarantee Agency, MIGA, could play in providing support to the private sector in overcoming the main challenges of trade and financing to exceed this exceptional period. The minister said that the Arab group welcomes the call of the World Bank Group, the International Monetary Fund and G20 led by Saudi Arabia to extend the debt relief period for low and middle income countries. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met online today with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF Director of the Middle East and Central Asia Department, Dr. Jihad Azur, Deputy Director Zain Zaidan, and Head of Regional Studies for the Middle East and Central Asia, Ali Al Eid. The meeting was held on the sidelines of the annual meetings of IMF and the World Bank Group. The meeting shed light on the efforts of IMF to boost global economic stability in light of the developments as well as the economic financial repercussions related to coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. The Minister of Finance and National Economy underlined the need for massive international efforts and joint cooperation between all organizations and institutions to weather the impact of the pandemic and continue implementing schemes to achieve global economic reinvigoration. The meeting also cast light on financial and economic issues of common interest as well as the latest global economic developments. For the occasion of the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, which is observed on October 17th, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, delivered a statement in which he affirmed his keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to support citizens and boost their productivity by providing 15 indirect support 
support programs and raising the overall annual subsidies by 7% at a total of 435 million Bahraini dinars. He added that the Ministry of Labor and Social Development is also working on motivating the youth to engage in the field of entrepreneurship as this approach has proven the feasibility of the kingdom's initiatives to tackle unemployment and ensure the ability of the labor market to generate more employment opportunities. He highlighted the measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to boost citizens' welfare, including provisions of a comprehensive social protection system as well as direct and indirect financial support like social allowances for the needy people with low or no income. The high living cost allowance, the pensioners allowance, the housing allowance, the allowance for lifting meat subsidy and the Ramadan donation. The minister also cast light on other procedures adopted by the kingdom to alleviate the living costs on citizens including a reduction in the electricity and water bill for families and individuals who are eligible for social security assistance and the unemployment allowance. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,651 with 452 recoveries, 333 registered new cases. 96 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 231 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. The Ministry announced the death of a 70-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased. Furthermore, the Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.